the signing of Goroka's electrification rollout creates a strategic partnership between the District Development Authority and USAID PNG electrification partnership activity. It enables the district to expand electricity access to its rural populace. This initiative empowers economic growth and development of the country. I'm happy that we are signing this MOU. Uh, this MOU is basically to uh, uh, find avenues and ways for future energy use into Goroka and especially the island region. And I hope this will be the beginning of a very uh, fruitful uh, relationship between the two of us. USAID PNG electrification partnership activity was developed following the outcome of the APEC meeting in 2018, which saw USA, Australia, Japan, and New Zealand signed a multilateral partnership agreement to expand electricity access to 70% of the population by 2030. It is now assisting the Groka DDA to achieve its electrification plans. We will look at the standalone solar products uh, for those sites or for those areas which are really off of grid, uh, areas which uh, is not viable for many grid to be to be uh, to be installed. The MOU extends to capacity building for technicians operating and giving out of solar products and assisting the DDA with its energy plans. PEP activities will include improving the areas in Goroka which are already on PNG power grid together with PNG power. But that's part of the energy plan that Julie mentioned is, let's look at the whole district and what makes sense, the most sense in, in every area. The PEP activity aims to provide technical and financial support to districts and provinces on activities such as grid extension, mini grid power generations and supply projects, and tier two to bring five solar home solutions in areas where grid extensions or mini grid development is not feasible. Frida Kana, TV1 News. Thanks for watching TV1 News. Please like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay up to date with the latest news.